Today, the USU Soccer Region 4 Championships kicked off in Lancaster, California. 248 boys and girls teams took to the field, all with the hopes of capturing a Region 4 Championship and advancing to the USU Soccer National Championships in Lancaster, Massachusetts. Under 19 boys, WSM Gunners of Oregon were up 1-0 over River City FC of Washington going into the half after a last-minute shot from Antonio Velasquez in the 40th minute. It wasn't until the 82nd minute that WSM was able to knock another past the keeper. River City's Nicholas Hamer contested two minutes later with a shot of his own, but it wasn't enough to pull through with a victory. WSM 1-2-1. The under-19 boys new sport of Nevada knew today's game would be a challenge as they faced the defending U.S. Youth Soccer Region 4 champions, Cisco Toros of Arizona. The Toros came out strong with an 18th minute goal by Nicholas De Leon. Teammate Antonio Valera netted another in the 48th minute. Brian Green pushed the Toros to 3-0 with a 70th minute goal and they capped off the 4-0 victory with Alfredo Rico shot in the 78th minute. It was a sole goal that decided the game between California South's DMA 11 and Colorado Rush Nike in the under-19 boys age group. The teams were evenly matched, but Colorado's Jorge Reza was able to find the back of the net in the 31st minute, leading to Colorado's 1-0 victory. We didn't know too much information about this team, so we just tried to figure them out at the beginning. We struggled a little bit with them with their pressure, but we were able to hold them off. It was two spurts of scoring that led to California North's Turlock Tornadoes 4-0 win over Montana's Missoula. The Tornadoes' Martin Arista hit the first shot of the game in the 28th minute and teammate Sergio Hinojosa followed suit in the 31st minute. It was an 80th minute own goal that gave them a 3-0 lead and Hinojosa nailed his second goal of the game in the 88th minute for a 4-0 win. It was great being the, the, the one that scored, it was good, and just having the two goals in makes it a great day. Cross state California teams met today in the under 15 girls age group. From the south it was a Slammers FC and from the north it was Mustang Rage. Slammers Aubrey Baker opened the game in the 12th minute with a cross off the tee. Rampage tried to find the equalizer but was unsuccessful giving Slammers a 1-0 victory on the first day of prelims. The under 15 girls Koi Express from Hawaii and Sereno 94 White from Arizona held each other scoreless until the 76th minute when Tiana Fujimoto shot one in for Koi. Catherine Boyle hit Sereno's equalizer in the 80th minute. Neither team was able to finish another shot and the game ended in a 1-1 draw. Under 15 girls Colorado Rush Nike and Lambois Jinga of Idaho both put forth equal efforts denying each other's shots. Colorado's Lindsey Huron hit the game's lone goal in the 75th leading to Colorado's 1-0 victory. Well, we want to try to make it to the finals, so that's our goal. Rio Vista FC Eagles of New Mexico entered the Region 4 Championships with an agenda, and that was to make it to the finals. Uh, it's been an exciting year. You know, I've been traveling all year to tournaments and trying to prepare for this event, and we're fortunate enough to win State Cup in a, an exciting game. And it's great to be here. I see lots of good players, lots of good teams, and exciting to be a part of something so special as the Regional Championship. With today's 4-0 victory over Eclipse of Alaska, they are one step closer to holding true to their agenda. Back-to-back -back goals from Emily Krubbage and Caroline Groney in the 15th and 16th minutes helped set the pace of the game. It was the first goal and I was at the top of the box. I got a pass from Courtney Dudley. I turned it and shot it with my right foot to the left upper corner. A 62nd minute goal from Ashley Williams extended their lead and Brownie's second goal of the game in the 71st finished off Rio Vista's 4-0 win. It's been great. I mean, you know, you're putting together the best teams from each state, so the competition is always really high, and I think, you know, with it being regionals, it adds that uh, kind of flavor of competition and, and fight and willingness, you know, just to kind of be the champion of the region, so it adds a little bit of uh, extra aggressiveness, if you will, to the game.